beautiful winter morning. There was frost on the ground and the skies were blue. And today I was headed towards the Trossachs and to a hill which is really quite prominent and it sits quite southerly on the uh, in the highlands. And if you're travelling on the A9 between Glasgow and Perth, this is one of the most prominent landmarks on the horizon, along with Ben Vorlich and Stuka Croyne. This hill, Ben Leddy, which sits above Calendar, is, is really noticeable as you as you head north or south along this road, and it's a fantastic hike. I was really looking forward to, to this today. Arriving at the parking spot at quite a leisurely time of about 9.30, I got myself kitted up, got my boots on and started getting my gear ready for the hill. It was going to be cold so I was wrapped up warm. And Ben Lady, it's got a couple of meanings. Uh, some people uh, translate it to Hill of the Slope, whilst others have translated it to Hill of God. Now I'm not sure which is right but I quite like the, the Hill of God meaning. It seems to be a bit more appropriate for this hill. Anyway, meanings aside, I saddled up and started to head up the hill in the cold, crisp air of this winter morning. Oh, well, it's a cold, breezy day, but it's beautiful. The, uh, the, sun, the, the sun's out behind the camera, but it's behind a wee cloud at the moment. <laughs> which is fine, but it's just a wee cloud, so it's going to come back out. And today I'm going up a hill which lies on the Highland Boundary Fault, and that um, that's the line that separates the lowlands in Scotland from the Highlands. And I've been up this hill a few times before. And the last time I was here must have been about five years ago, maybe, because this path up it was actually closed. Now, you'll not make it out from here, but uh, this was all forested before, and when I came up the last time, there'd been a big autumnal storm had come in, and flattened a lot of the forest, making the path impassable. But they've actually cleared all the forest, you can see behind me there. It's all cleared now, so this path is uh, back in use. And I've just come to this spot here, there's a lovely wee uh, tribute. They've, there's all these new, you'll not see them, but the, uh, these little pipes coming out of the ground have got new trees which have been planted by some local school uh, children. It's to commemorate uh, 67 soldiers uh, as a war memorial. There's a wee plaque here for it. So yeah, it'll be a lovely uh, testament to, to that time and the, the locals remembering those who have fallen in the war. And uh, yeah, hopefully in years to come I'll come past this and they'll, they'll be blossoming and growing and what have you. Anyway, back to today. Lovely path going up here. The hill's called Ben Lady. I don't know if you can see behind me. The top of it's in snow, which is really exciting. There's not been too much snow this winter as of yet. So I'm really excited about getting up there. Maybe the ice axe will come out and the crampons on and what have you. Time will tell. So. Heading up here onto the ridge, then up into the snow to the top. So let's go, let's see if the sun comes back out and uh, let's get to the top. Well, it's a bit breezy. I don't know, you might be able to hear the, uh, the wind catching the tops of these trees behind me. So I know it's going to be windy in the top, but um, yeah, I'm making my way up the path. It's a really well constructed path. I don't know if it was the Forestry Commission that put it in or whether this is part of the National Park or not, but I can see where I'm going now, the path winds its way up here and if you can see the sort of bottom of the ridge, it takes us onto the ridge there and then I'll follow the ridge into the snow line up past these crags at the top and onto the summit, but so far so good it's lovely, I can count about two clouds in the sky, but those clouds are fairly scudding by <laughs> so I know that's going to be the compromise, blue skies, but uh, but windy and I'm getting my first peak of uh, Ben Vorlich which is nice and white as well over at Loch Air. So let's uh, let's get cracked on. You never know the wind might die down. We are it's a northerly wind so it's whistling down this valley which runs north to south. So sometimes that can strengthen the winds and it can be lighter on top but not feeling too confident about that. <laughs> right, less talking, let's get walking. I wasn't standing still for long because that wind was biting. It was probably minus two, minus three air temperature, but with the, the wind chill factor, it was certainly many degrees below that and it felt it. So up I went and uh, I soon found myself going along the path and making my way towards the ridge that leads towards the summit. In addition to its godly name, Ben Lady is also associated with some of the Beltane festivals which happened in days gone by where the, the locals would 
go to the summit and have a festival and light the fire, usually between the spring equinox and the summer solstice, around the start of May, to welcome in that time of year. And to be honest with you, I think I could have done with the fire today to warm up my hands and I had to stop and layer up as I got near the top and the snow became thicker and the temperatures dropped. Well, I'm well established on the ridge now. And it has been really, really windy. Um, it's a bit more sheltered here, but you might still pick up some of the wind noise. So hopefully you can hear this okay. But it's glorious up on the ridge now. You can see over to Ben Lomond and the Arachar Alps and what have you. And start, the views down over the Oakle Hills and down towards places over Calendar and Stirling and the Lowlands. It's just lovely. Over to the Campses. All these sort of hills. It's a fantastic viewpoint. And I'm now into the snow line. There's not much snow, it's just a smattering of snow. I don't think I'm going to need to put my crampons on uh, or get the ice axe out, but we'll see what it's like near the top. Uh, not too far now, you can see just over the top there, maybe another 20 minutes, half an hour and I'll be at the top. So, yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to crack on and uh, hope that this wind dies down a wee bit, although I'm not feeling uh, overly confident. <laughs> Still beautiful though. Wrapped up a bit warmer now, uh, up I went. And with the position of the sill right on the edge of the highlands, the views back down south over the lowlands are really fantastic. And you, you also get a nice surprise as you, you get higher up because the, the highlands to the north start to appear and you can start to count and identify each of the peaks the higher up you go. Yeah, the hill I'm on, if I've not mentioned it, it's actually called Ben Leddy. And one of the most not notable features on it is actually this uh, memorial cross. As soon as I see any pictures with this cross in it, it, it does two things. It, it reminds me of Ben Leddy, but it also uh, it's very alpine. You get a lot of these sort of structures in the Alps. It reminds me of the Alps a wee bit. But it's a very uh, poignant um, memorial to a mountain rescue member who, who died in the 80s and he didn't actually pass away in this hill, he was involved in a helicopter crash on Ben Moor which is which lies a bit further north of here. Uh, it's a chap called uh, Harry Laurie and uh, I'm pretty sure if memory serves me right it was, a, it was a helicopter crash he was uh, he was involved in and you know you can't uh, thank these guys enough the mountain rescue and the, the conditions they have to go out. I mean today's lovely beautiful blue sky sunny days but I guess that the majority of the times these guys are called out, it's uh, less than ideal and, and horrendous conditions. Conditions you can only, you, you, you'd never want to be uh, caught out in and what have you. So uh, total respect to these guys, and it's a it's a nice wee memorial here, and certainly a defining feature of of this hill. And the views from here are just absolutely stunning. Uh, all down to the lowlands, I can see right, right round up from Perthshire through Stirlingshire, right down towards the Glasgow area and Strathclyde and what have you. Absolutely glorious. So, uh, yeah, this isn't actually too far from the summit. The summit's just, uh, well, I can see the summit behind me. It's only about uh, 20 or 30 metres away. And the, the wind has dr dropped a wee bit. So, let's see what it's like in the summit and, uh, yeah, get to bite, a bite to eat up there. Let's go. summit of uh, Ben Leddy and it's absolutely lovely. There's still a wee breeze up here but it's not anything like what it was down uh, coming up the glen. I think I've mentioned that sometimes the, the glen because it's running north to south it was just funneling the wind down and up here. It might have dropped, it was forecast to drop as the day goes on so it might have dropped a wee bit. There's a wee breeze but it's actually, uh, yeah it's not too bad, I'm quite pleased with this. I'm going to sit up here for a while take some pictures, I don't know if you can see behind me, the, the, the hills to the north have got more snow and that's because it's a northerly wind so the snow's coming down and um, falling on the, the hills further north and by the time it gets here it's either, uh, there's none left and you get blue skies, <laughs> which is just uh, just perfect, it's absolutely beautiful, it means there's less snow here but uh, I'm not going to complain, anyway, right, time to take it in, and I, yeah, I think, um, just before I have my lunch, I think Ben Leddy has got a couple of meanings, if I, if I remember correctly, uh, mountain of the God, maybe, and uh, that was one interpretation. The other was um, just uh, Hill of the Slope, which is a bit boring. So I prefer the Mountain 
of the god or god mountain or whatever way it was. I'll try and uh, put a bit to. Uh, bit up after this just to confirm what it is. It certainly feels like a holy mountain, certainly with the cross on it and the, with that name and today it's absolutely, it does feel like heaven, it's lovely, absolutely fantastic. So, right, enough talking, let's get some food and uh, yeah, I'm just going to head back down the same way I came, I'll do a wee bit of the camera later on, okay? Woo! <laughs> lovely! taking some pictures and having a bite to eat on the summit, the wind returned with a vengeance and I decided to start heading back down. And I just about turned and went back down the way I'd come up. me down and starting to get to the end of the ridge now and I decided to come back down it was, actually before I go any further I think on the summit I said that the the wind had dropped and it had literally for two or three minutes and I was away to get the drone out <laughs> and do some sweeping landscapes of the snowy mountains and then it just came in I could hear it coming and it whacked on there the, the wind really nearly blew me off my feet in the summit and I, I hung around for about a good 20 minutes taking pictures but it didn't die down it's got it got windier and windier in fact this is a first spot where I've managed to get any shelter. Anyway, I've decided to come back down the way I came up because there is a circular route where you go back down Stanky Glen and then along the side of Loch Ludnig back to the car, which makes it a circular route, which is fine, but you know what? I think coming back down this way, the, the views over the lowlands, if I spin round here, you might see them behind me. Oh, all the way down there, it's just absolutely fantastic. And over there to the to the Arakar Alps and the Trossachs and what have you, it's, the views are better I think coming back down here, I think once you go back down Stanky Glen it's uh, it's a bit enclosed and you don't really get as many uh, views, it might be a bit more sheltered right enough, but this is just fabulous. So I reckon another maybe uh, 40 minutes back to the car, maybe less than that, it's quite a short short way and it's a path all the way so it's well, uh, the navigation isn't an issue at the moment, and it's a beautiful path up here, it's been well constructed, but what a day, absolutely glorious it is. Right, take me back to the car, let's go, enough talking, let's get walking. So another fine outing and just fabulous views all around and as I said I just went back down the way I came up and it was lovely, met lots of people coming up the hill which was grand and yeah, can't uh, recommend this hill enough, fantastic short day out.